Morning, bagels and baguettes. We are in Suwon today. At Watsong Fortress. With our good friends. Jalapeno D. We're back. And Jigglypoof. So, we are, uh, spin around here. Going to see a area around here for a Hwasong Fortress and the little traditional village thing that's around it. So, we're going to go find some stuff and take some video of it and maybe find some lunch. So, we're walking down this street. It says that it's... Oh, I'm going to run into Jalapeno. It says that it is uh, the handcrafted street and food street in the same general direction. So, I've seen a little of each. There's some people selling some stuff on the sides and some... She brought a bracelet. It's really pretty. Ah, and there's uh, some food around here too, so we're still on the hunt for food though. I want like food food, not not like snack food. So we're still on the hunt for that. Yet another store the girls stopped at on the way to go get food. So they sell random things. There's a Darth Vader and Robin. That's a hell of a combo. You didn't know Darth Vader and Robin hang out together? Like That's a new time. thing to me, yeah. All the time. All the time? All right. Hot. All right, so you get another store. This one's doing some woodworking. Hey, you can get a phone holder. There's some interesting stuff going on there. Oh, that one does like the burn in pictures and stuff. So, and you see the occasional people over here in the traditional dress doing games and stuff. <laughs> and we're still looking for food. Yeah, you get the ticket over there and you can walk up to the... So, yeah, that's a, probably a long walk. Yeah, we're all lazy and don't want to climb that far up. I think we're mainly going to walk around the uh, the markets here. So they got a little concert going on over here. So uh, yeah, I don't think we're actually here to go see the fortress because none of us want to climb a mountain. Oh, the fortress is that way. Well, let's go get a picture of that. Oh, we could try and get on one of the trolleys at some point if you guys want. Yeah, the trolley's cheap. Things like a thousand five hundred per person. So that's oh, there is English on that. So we're by the Caldemoon Gate which is where we are. So that's one of the main gates. There's a temple down here. Oh, then you found us. And then there's apparently some performance and other things that go on here. Oh, the white people? Yeah, it's the white people. And some numbers to call. <laughs> so, yeah, let's go look at that thing and hopefully find some food. All right, you ready? Yeah, so we're at Bald Moon Gate. So this is the back side of it, which is the tower. Uh, I don't think we're actually allowed to go up it. There's a sign on the stairs over there. In Korean. In Korean, so that's not real helpful. And we're going to head over toward the front and see if we can get a video of the front. So, uh, yeah, here's a store. Plenty of stuff to buy, I'm sure. So apparently even they have these little, uh, actually, I don't think that's a manhole cover. I think that's just a street plaque uh, with a picture of the gate thing on it. So... Here is at least what I can see of the front side of the gate. 
Aldman Gate. And okay, so this is an entrance to one of the traditional market areas. I think we're going to head that way. Ah, traditional market entrance, huh? All right, we're headed that way. So this is kind of a covered market here. It's not exactly traditional. They've got uh, like actual storefront stores and more electronics than I've ever seen in a uh, traditional market. But uh, we're gonna keep looking around. All right, so here's a little cart that sells like dried fish. And, uh, <laughs> And there's some squid, I think. And those are silkworm eggs. Or uh, silkworm uh, pupa. I have had those before. Um, let's just say it evacuated my entire system. I am not a fan. Jalapeno, on the hand, other hand here, has uh, pineapple on a stick. Brown stick is good. And watermelon on a stick. We successfully pigeon Koreaned our way through uh, buying fruit. We're still looking for real food though. So when walking through a Korean market, you can find just about anything anywhere. We got leather bags over there. We pile got of pile of underwear back over there. Suitcases over on this side. And that lady over there is selling uh, shower shoes and stuff. So, and there's a jewelry store right behind me. So, and there's a bank. So yeah, you can find just about anything at any random given point in time. It's very interesting to walk through. So as we're walking through the area here, we find a nice little bridge covering a little uh, stream down here. So looks like a, I'm going to say that probably looks like another covered market over that way. So we're going to head that general direction and I'm still looking for food. So the uh, hanging signs in the cover are fairly new, but this is more what I'm used to when people say a traditional market. Food stacked up over here, restaurants over there. This is pretty, pretty more on key for what I'm thinking. So socks and stuff. I'm trying not to get anybody on camera that uh, might not want to be so I'm trying not to get a whole bunch of stuff all up in people's business here. Oh, there's a butcher shop. There's a little thing for veggie side dishes. Oh, there's one that makes the uh, little treats. So we're coming out of the end of the little traditional market here. Ooh, look, more fish. There's a lot of fish in here. And we're gonna head back toward the main street. Ooh, Hotuk. I'm stopping. Hotuk. <laughs> we're gonna get Hotuk. Yay, here we are eating our hotuk. Standing right next to the uh, the fish monger here. And waiting on jalapeno and jiggly over there to uh, finish buying whatever it is they are. And the uh, smell from the sewer is oh so helpful. So, as we're walking by, this place has live squid. Yay. It's food, but you can get it as a pet. Mm. <laughs> I would name it Frederick. Frederick? Uh huh. Who named it Jacoby? Looks like Jacoby. It looks like a Frederick. So, we've been walking around and getting mildly lost. And uh, we found ourselves on the road about three blocks from where I thought we were. So, we're actually retracing the route that we drove in here with to get back to somewhere where we can eat. If you look at the right area, you'll find happiness. Happy? It's up there. So, in our typical style, um, we've walked way around the place um, and come back to almost where we started from to find food. So it's only been like two hours since we started looking. Oops. Yeah. We did get hotuk though, so you can't be mad. We, we did get hotuk, so that's... That. Can't be mad at that. Anyway, we're gonna go get some uh, Korean fast food burgers. Woo! So, we've backtracked a bit and we found a, uh, a turn off the main road that we were going down and we think this is food road because it looks like to be where all the... Uh, restaurants we were looking for were great job. so yes we are uh the most awesome of random travelers so as we're walking around here there's one that says uh hanuk the korean house and there's some 
other stuff here. But uh, yeah, there's your front door. And then you have the little retaining wall here. That's a little more old school style of building houses. You see that uh, in uh, some places when you get into the older sections of town, the building, all the buildings will have like little retaining walls around them. So we're over here in front of the courtyard for the uh, Hwasong Palace thing. And uh, they're over there looking at getting tickets and whatnot. But I figured I'd do a quick shot of the, uh, the entryway here. I guess they're setting up for a performance of some sort with a little stage and a little backdrop up there. So they've also got uh, out here in the courtyard, they got this big like concert looking setup going here. So I have no idea what's going on. Well, apparently the trolley is full for today, so we just get to tour the palace. I think you just wander around and look at the stuff. And this is apparently the armory. So there's a bunch of spears and stuff. And this is some sort of breakout of the traditional guard, I'm guessing. So here is some of the uh, traditional-ish looking uniforms. So now we found our way into the uh, one of the courtyards. Here's a handy little map. Uh, apparently, we're in the secretary's office. Oh yeah, he's up. Well, Minotaur rule: always go right. You'll eventually cover the entire distance. All right, now we're in some sort of flag courtyard. And there's a kitty show going on over there. <coughs> so over here we got some statues of some traditionally looking people. If I remember correctly, the one on the left is a nurse, and the one on the right is a uh, palace guard. And let's get away from the kids' show. Well, we appear to be in a courtyard of some point, seeing as there is uh, the steps and the, the shades up front. Ah, well here's the informational thing. So again with the helpful map. And this is Bong Sudang, which is the most important building of the temporary palace and where the king stayed when he visited. So we're in the king's house. So, King Zhengzhou's palace. So, traditional Korean real estate. All right, so, Feng Sudang, the audience hall. So, that would be the open area here, with the big chair. So, Melissa's being very girly at the moment. I am. And she wants to get a selfie of us. So I'm going to video getting a selfie of us. I don't think that's a selfie. I have to take it. Because that's like Inception or some... That's some bullshit Inception. <laughs> I'm just surprised Jalapeno D isn't in our photo. <laughs> What's up with that? What's up with what? Why aren't you in our photo? Something. Come on, are you other side. New. Yeah, get on the other side. <laughs> I'm a very lazy person. Come on, right here. 
There you go. <laughs> Get another helpful map. We're at Jung Rock thing and King's sixtieth birthday, blah blah blah. So, servants' quarters apparently. So, if you served the man, that was the kind of room you got. Mm, wind's picking up a little bit. So, this is the eunuch's house, and he's getting ready to go out. One thing you'll notice, and I hope the video catches it, that sets Korean architecture, traditional at least, apart from most of the rest of the world, is the colors on everything. You might find similar looking temples in, uh, you know, Japan or, I don't know, Vietnam or wherever, but if you can see it, the inscriptions or designs or whatever on the end caps of the ceiling tiles, the paintings on the end of the timbers, you know, the paints on both sides and the bottom. They're very colorful. And a lot of attention to detail. It's quite interesting. Sort of. So I hear that this walk up here is like five kilometers. Yeah, I'm not doing that. No. I have no idea what all this stuff is, but it looks pretty cool. Looks like some sort of old wood print. So there's also like a. Uh, I mean, there's a stuff in Korean above it, so. Around, which takes you around the walls. But I want to say that's like a five kilometer thing and it's pretty steep. So. So, this can go all the way down this wall. I'm not going to go video the whole thing. Why not? Because I'm not that good at it. Okay. Oh, well, there's another informational thing over here. Archery field. Okay. There you go. There's the stamp on one. Oh. Okay, so they stamped some one with the thing in there. Congratulations, you have stamped one. <laughs> All right, so we're around the corner here. Got another informational doodad. And I'm guessing from the yelling that's in here, this is probably the dojang. Nak Nam Hun. Specifically designed for various events. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so temporary hall. Event hall.
expert in Korean culture, but I believe this is the uh, ancient version of a Korean drama. It's fun. With a musical accompaniment. All right, so we're at the exit, and this is Hwaryongjong. Anyway, apparently it is the uh, funeral shrine for one of the kings. Or it was built to be a shrine for him, at least. And if we actually find that, I'll show it to you. So, didn't really find the uh, shrine thing they were talking about, but here is the next building. Unhanga. Used for morning assembly and the enshrined portrait. So, I'm gonna climb these ridiculously steep steps. There's a reason Koreans are skinny. So, let's see if my auto balance will pick up the. There we go, it's coloring up. There we go, there's the enshrined photo. Well, not photo, you know what I mean. Now let's see if I can get down these steps without killing myself. All right, well, we are headed back to our car. Car! Car Woo! and air conditioning. And sitting down. And sitting down. Sitting down is awesome. So, I recorded pretty much all this on one of our new cameras, the Osmo Action. So, let us know if you think the uh, colors are shit or if it looks bad. Or... We're not done yet. We're going to Coco Curry. We're going to Coco Curry? We're going to Coco Curry. All right, well, I'll have to charge this thing. Woohoo, Coco Curry. All right, apparently we're going to get dinner. So, yes. we'll see you in a bit. All right, so I uh, had to change cameras because the other one hasn't charged yet. Ooh, but we are it. So, so little. Yeah, this is the pocket one. So we are uh, at Latte Mall. So we are going to go in here and find the semi-infamous Coco Curries. Because I've heard about it all over the time and I've missed it. Both times I've been to Okinawa. So we're going to see if we can find it here. All right, so it might be a little bit noisy because it is a mall, but... We're in the mall. I'm going over here, Amber. They're why looking at shoes, women folk. All right, so it took a little, little looking, but we found Coco's curry, Coco curries, whatever it's called. So the fun part. Ah, there we go. So the fun part is you have to get to the Latte Mall. And then you have to go all the way down to the end where there's a department store whose name I can't remember at the moment, but it's a big department store. Then you have to go in the department store and use the department store elevators to go up to the seventh floor. Because the main mall elevators only go up to the fifth floor. Anyway, once you get up to the seventh floor, you walk around in the, uh, the food court and you'll find it with the big yellow signs. So, here we are. So, I'm going to go find Melissa now. All right, and the first rush of food has come out. Oh, Jalapeno here. Oh, we got more. All the food is out. Thank you. So anyway, Melissa has a hamburger steak with cheese in it with her non-spicy curry and rice. Thank you. I have got fried chicken and beef curry udon. That's like half of everything I love in the world in a bowl. It's the cheesy one. It's the cheesy one. Alright, what's Daniel got? Anyway, Daniel over here has another soft boiled egg because that is the goodness. And soft booby curry. And soft booby curry. Chicken breast. And Amber over here has some vegetables and sauce with rice. You taking pictures of your food? I am Instagramming your food. I can't really say much. I'm over here videoing our food. There you go. See, I'm I'm pretty decent at this actually. I am Instagramming their food too with Amber boobs in it. 
my first bite of ever cocoa curry, which I've been sad because we didn't get to go to in Okinawa last year. Was it last year or the year before? I think it was last year. Oh. <laughs> no, I saved it. <laughs> I saved it. I Jalapeno over here is having logistical issues with his eggs. I have, I have, I have. That's good. It's very good. I'm happy. The, the egg is cold. Just so you know. The egg is cold? Oh, boo. All right. Right. I'm used to that, like, Okinawan ramen yeah. when they throw it in there and it's all nice and warm with the rest of your ramen. This is really good. Is oh, my like rice bite? is warm? Sure. Yeah, we can have it. Okay, good. As I just dropped that on your shirt. Yeah, as you throw food on me. There we go. Fast tracking on. Anyway, well, I tried to is. taste Melissa's food and she threw it on me, so. Well, you were being a jerk earlier, so that's what you get. From well, that's dessert. true. Nope. Anyway, I gotta get it to flip. There we go. There we go. Soft boiled egg into the curry. There you go. Would you like me to video you so you can try yours? How is yours, Daniel? It's really good. I should have gotten higher spice. What level did you get? Four. Turns out I should have gone at least a seven. How's your level of spice, Amber? It's good. I got a two. Which a two? is right around Shin Ramen. So I got a zero. And mine is great. I'm adding chili to my chili. <laughs> and, Chuck, how is mine's it? about a four, and it's got enough bite to be bitey. Yours is bitey? Yeah. I'm like ready. too bitey? I didn't drop that on your phone. You did. Yeah, that was on me. If you want, I'll eat your food. You can reorder some do you want, zero do, spice. Do you want some more chili on that? Mm, like, y'all see it. this. A little bit. He's adding more because it's not hot enough. Next time you'll have to add hotter. All right, so. We're going to eat. Yeah, and I got noodles, so that's going to be kind of messy. Yeah, if you We'll see you that. after I finish everyone's food. <laughs> uh. All right, everybody. I have finished my curry. Yeah, if you ever get the fried chicken and beef curry udon, it is a touch on the spicy side. It's not. Well, unless you're jalapeno D. I was like, liquid lava jalapenos aren't hot to you, so. <laughs> they have those? But to uh, normal human beings, that's a got a bit of a bite to it, but not terrible. I turned her food red. <laughs> well, hers had no spice in it to begin I know, I with. I turned it red. <laughs> so. They're taking home some leftovers. I don't eat a lot. <laughs> oh no, I didn't get any food. Yep, Melissa's starving. I have your food. <laughs> She's like, no. I had to feed. I'm I had to starving. feed the Mexican. Yeah. I had to feed our Mexican. Yep. You have to feed the resident Mexican. So, food was pretty good. Now half of us are sweating. I'm Amber said we're getting craps. I'm going for craps. Screw that noise. Let me screw that noise. All right, well, that's all for the mall. And uh, I'm probably covering up the microphone. There we go. So that was all for the mall. We'll have to do just one Chicken Street another time. We just didn't have enough time. And yeah, I think that's, that's going to take more appetite and time than we had. That sounds like a whole day thing. It does. So Anyway, we're heading over to our car, which I've named, but I forgot what the name was because it was in Korean and I have it to call our Korean friends. Something so. in Korean that means white, and I don't remember what it was. It's white. Co I named our car Whitey. Yeah, so. you did. <laughs> anyway. Here we go, we're going home, y'all have fun.